acting league shit. What the fuck? Y'all ass come on this motherfucking live to talk about him. Year was good people. We're back live at the plaza. Now today we're gonna talk about Lil Dirk and his first baby mom, OTF Nikki, and the reasons why she ain't about no more. Now, Lil Dirk, he's one of the biggest artists to come out of Chicago. In my opinion, him and Chief Keith are the poster boys for making something out of nothing for rappers that came out the hood in Chicago. You know, them them man really took it to like a different level. And you know, even though Chief Keith has the big impact. Dirk really took this thing global. But when you think a little Dirk, there's a few things you think of. Obviously, you think of Chicago, OTF, King Von. But I know a lot of the ladies, you're going to think of his main trick, India. And, you know, I, I don't begrudge you for that. India's there. She's definitely one plus one with Dirk. You know what I'm saying? She's there. But... Before India, when Dirt was a struggling rapper on his grand trying to make it out of Chicago, there was his come up girl. That's not a term I normally use, but I'm gonna use it in this 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 video. Yeah, that he had a come up girl, OTF Nikki. We met um at a friend's house. Somebody um introduced us and we were just um became friends and it went from there. Now when you think of Dirt, you think of baddies. You think a Dej Loaf. He, he had her when she was at her peak, allegedly. You think of India. I mean, the list goes on. Like, I'm not going to dig into some of the girls he's linked with or women he's linked with, but he's got baddies attached to him. But then we never hear nothing about OTF Nikki. So with that being said, let me take you back. I ain't know I'll be rapping this shit. I worked for a call center and um, he worked for a factory in... I was pregnant with my son and um, we were just trying to get our life in order to take care of our kids. It was a struggle. We used to scrap up money to go to the studio and, you know, do video. Looking at this video, they, they look like a good couple. Now me, I don't judge. You never, you never know the circumstances when people are coming up. But when I dropped this video on TikTok, it led to a lot of questions. And the common theme, especially from the women, was that Nikki helped him come up while he was grinding, while he was an aspiring rapper, you know, from Chicago in the trenches on the come up. She was the one that was by his side, you know, she was the one that funded his dream. And then as soon as he, he got up, as soon as he got success, as soon as he started having motion, he traded her in for something better. That's what everyone was trying to say in the comments, you know, so check the TikTok, Live From Plaza on the TikTok, check it out. You can read the comments for yourself. But I don't know about none of that stuff. But what I do know, in numerous interviews, another Chicago rapper slash ex-driller, whatever you wanna call it, Tay 600, he makes numerous references about sleeping with OTF Nikki. He's always telling the story, yeah, I smashed Dirk's baby mom. Yeah, I'll just try to the Nikki shit. But you know what's so crazy, right? And that's why I don't be trying to... Niggas need to understand this, man. When you born with this shit, it's not all you was thinking. Dirk had a big baby mama. Just because you, you rap, you famous, you got some money, that don't mean nothing. Because I fucked Yo, up. I, I, was six, I was 16 years old, and I ain't had shit to my name but a Glock 45 and a pair of shoes, folks, and a couple jeans and shirts and shit. I ain't have my own crib, cars. I didn't have money, nothing. And I came and fucked dude, baby mama, so quick, it was not even funny, bro. And it wasn't even like I was trying to fuck her. Like, that's something, another thing. I never tried to fuck her. She tried to fuck me, and I kept it going. I kept, I prevented it for so long. But on Biddy, when I did, when I did fuck her, it was because he was a bitch. Now, this has neither been confirmed or denied by Dirk or Nikki. But by the way, Tay 600 is always talking about this. It leads me to believe, like, I don't know about you lot, let me know in the comments, but it leads me to believe that I think he might have hit it because, <laughs> hey, no disrespect, but that's that's not one you're going to walk around claiming. You're not going to be so open. Yo, like, man, nah, you're gonna, you might keep that one on the low. You don't get no points for that. Obviously, you do get some points because it's Dirt's baby mum, but it's not like saying you dealt with India. You know what I mean? It's different. So, allegedly, 
I reckon it might have happened. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But either way, this information to me means we can dispel the narrative that he got rich and he just glowed up and just threw his come up bay away. <laughs> I didn't even mean to ram that. But yeah, you know, we can dispel that narrative because I know that's what everyone's pushing. Sometimes there's other things going on. And if we're judging by OTF Nikki's Insta, you know, it looks like Dirk still supports her. He still supports his kids and, you know, they probably have a mutual relationship. But whilst I know females are bitter about his come up girl getting pushed to the side, sometimes this is just how it goes. You level up, you move different. Some people just can't keep up and you don't have the same mentality. This is just how it goes. This is life. Some people are going to be mad at me for putting this video up, but I'm being real. I'm just a messenger live from the plaza.